it's an incredible experience for our for our team to play against India. We we saw it um, first hand with um, in the first game. We played some there was some tough cricket, but then to watch Virat and then MS do what he did at the end is just a um, brilliant tutorial for our young batters, but also puts our bowlers under great pressure and you like to see them under pressure and see how they react. And uh, yeah, it, was great. it was a great game of cricket, beaten by a very good Indian side. You know, they are, we're playing against three all-time great one-day international players. We saw it in the first one we've seen, and they've come to the class always comes to the top, and we've seen that with India. So we, we, we must respect that. Um, they the way that Virat and MS batted today is, you know, you hate losing, but when you see that, it's just a, it's an amazing um, why they're such great players. So. Um, we'll gain great experience for it though, and in big tournaments like the World Cup, which will come up, um, I, I like to see our guys under pressure like they were tonight, so it will be much better for the experience. And it's still one all in the series, so it means it's alive and well. It means the MCG game is going to be huge, we can't wait for that. More pressure, and uh, all the pressure is really positive for us where we're at at the moment. I guess we could have. I, mean, I thought Sean Marsh's innings was, was absolutely brilliant. I thought that we had some good 50-run partnerships, but the fact that Sean, we talk about getting big hundreds, he did that. Uh, we probably lost those two wickets just at the end with uh, Sean and, and Maxie getting out just at the end. It might have cost us another 15 or so runs, which obviously in the context of this game would have been handy. But for us to be getting up to... We got to... 289, 288 last game and then 298 this game as well. So we're getting better and there's areas that we knew we had to get better at. We're playing the spinners a lot better. Um, we're playing through the middle overs better. We're getting guys through to to, to the end. And you know, if there was one thing we might have just finished off, but I thought Sean and Maxie played brilliantly and I, I enjoyed the fact that we got good parts and we got close to 300. So um, overall we couldn't um, we were happy with the batting performance, two in a row actually. He's turning into a great one, an international player. I mean, four hundreds in eight games. You, you'd like to see him get hundreds and win. Um, you know, it would have been a perfect day for him. Um, I'm also really proud of the way he's, he's for, he, he was not selected for the next test series against Sri Lanka. A lot of guys can, um, you know, that, that pressure can, that can shrivel up, but he hasn't, he's, he's stood tall, he's, a, he's working really hard, he's had a couple of good innings now, and uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud of Sean. Oh yeah, well, I, well it's like T20 cricket, I've actually always said in my um, coaching era of 2020, it's actually an experienced man's game, it's not a young man's game, because you're under so much pressure, and that, that's where the wise or the experienced heads usually prevail. So we've seen that today. We see that a lot, actually, I think, in white ball cricket. If you look around India um, and England at the moment, have got some really senior players who have a real impact on their team. And, um, you know, Sean, it's great to see him step up. It's going to be great to see Finchie start making some runs. They're not far around the court, far off. He's, he's uh, working so hard it's all you know that little right you see that little bit of luck we all know you need a bit a little bit of luck but he's not far off but it's usually the senior heads who make such an impact on on great teams so we've seen that today um, one was on the winning team one just missed out but you know senior heads under pressure uh, usually prevail yeah there's a lot of debate about maxi but I, I think that's the perfect position for him i honestly do the other night he came in late but that's actually a good sign. I remember the days when Michael Clark used to bat seven and Michael Hussey used to bat seven. I used to muck around with Hussey saying, mate, you got the best job in the world. You never bat. You get paid. You get paid a fortune and you never bat because the team was going so well. But when Maxi can come in and put the finishing touches on like he does, it's, for me it's the perfect position. And we've tried a lot of things over the last two years and we haven't got the combination right. We haven't, we haven't had the success that we'd like to and we've, we're trying different... Things. And for me, Maxi, he's the best, probably the best fielder in the world. We love it. It's like contagious. His energy. He's um, he's been captain of the stars for a few, and he's got good leadership qualities as well. So if he can come in and put the finishing touches on like he does, then it's always nervous time for an opposition. And you still know you've got a Glenn Maxwell or a Mike Hussey or a Adam Gilchrist to have coming in it down the 
uh, at seven. So I think it's a really good spot for him. He brings a lot. He bowled well tonight. He fields well. There'll be times in Sydney we almost bought it. We're going to bring him in at the 35 over mark. And I think we lost a wicket on the 31st or 28th or 29th over. So we decided to stick with it. And it worked out okay. It was a winning score um, on a tough wicket. Um, all I know is Maxi, you know, he will be a very important part of our team if we're to win the World Cup. We just talked about senior heads. We've got Sean Marsh, Glenn Maxwell. Those guys are really important. They've been seeing a lot of cricket, a lot of white ball cricket. And wherever he, wherever he bats, it's um, what will be best for the team. And I, think, I honestly think, despite the debate, that's his best spot in our, for us at the moment.